misbehavior. Turn your back on Mother Nature. Everybody wants to. What's up guys? So in this episode we're going to be doing headlight installs. Um, I bought blacked out headlights. Um, my passenger side kept getting condensation and it looked a little beat up so I really wanted to upgrade and just get something else to look a little nicer. Um, so pretty much I have everything kind of apart already. I have one side out so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that and I'll do a little bit of a, the uh, unboxing for the uh, the blacked out headlights and I'll let you guys see that all right and let's see this box is the new headlights that I ordered um, let's see this package really good I actually opened the first one already uh, this is pretty thick material so packaging is really good you don't have to worry too much about it shaking around cracking anything so let me go ahead and put the camera down and then I'll show you guys the rest of it. Okay, so just want to show you guys a little comparison here. So this is still the cover on it, so it looks a little, a little shiny here. So, but uh, as far as the differences, this is the OEM one on the right side here, and then this is the blacked out one. Honestly, I think it looks just much better in my opinion, at least. It's a pretty easy project to go ahead and just pull this out and just paint it black. But it is my daily drive, so. I decided to go ahead and just do it. It's pretty easy, easy swap in and out. So we're going to go ahead and get this installed in. I'll show you guys the rest of it, all right? All right, so this is the front bumper off right now. Um, I didn't do a tutorial on this because it's pretty straightforward. I mean, there's two bolts on the bumper here. Um, Mine's not stock, so I actually just have just the quick release here, so it makes it a little easier for me because I have to take the bumper on and off every now and then. And then uh, once this side is done, it's pretty much the same thing, so I'm going to go ahead and do this side and do a comparison to the driver side. I already have the passenger side out already right here. Let's see, and let me show you guys what I meant by the condensation. So, I don't know if you guys can see it there, but... uh. Let's see, let it focus here. Yeah, it looks kind of dried up. Oh, I took a, took a heat gun, so it should be pretty much dried up. So it was a little annoying for me, but uh, for the most part, it's mostly gone. I'll probably put these up on sale or something. Uh, whatever it is, just get rid of it. I don't need these anymore, but we'll see what happens. Come home to the city. Those dark nights calling for you Where the rooftop kings and queens Crown sparkling Thrones of gold and silver Got no disbelievers Look up to the sky where the Okay, so here we go. So this side is in. It's not the bulbs and everything are not hooked up yet, but it looks pretty good. Everything lines up. There was nothing wrong with it. Didn't have to do anything with it. Just put every screw in and holds good. Um, it's super clean. Uh, I like that it's blacked out. I think it looks much better blacked out actually. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys this side. So. Um, don't know if you guys can see it. Let me get you guys some light here. There we go. The stock one there and new one here. So I gotta do the other side. Gotta get this wiring figured out real quick. Um, 
it's going to take me a bit just because I do have a uh, aftermarket uh, side markers and then I do have bumper lights here as well so shouldn't be too long though but I just got to get those wires in and then uh, I'll get going on the other side okay so before I actually uh, go on with finalizing the headlight and I actually had to take it back out because there's a couple things I forgot to switch over which I saw after I had the headlight in so you do actually have to transfer your HID ballast your stock one and put it on to this right here um, technically I don't need to but I thought this was gonna block it out but it's kinda just a plastic piece that just comes out um, but for me, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it there just so I don't get any dust or anything or less likely of it. But I'm going to go ahead and throw the stock uh, ballast here. I'm not going to be using it only because I do have aftermarket HIDs. These are the stock 35 watts one. And I actually are, um, I'm running 55 watt ones. Um, they mount on right here. And they just run down to the headlight so that's why uh, this back plate I'm actually gonna just take this one off and throw the new one on um, this is a custom because of the igniter going in so I actually had to swap that over for me but if you guys are staying stock then um, all you have to do is just transfer just the high beam bulb into this one right here um, this I don't know if there's a bulb in there yet but uh if there is then you don't have to swap it over but if it doesn't then you just swap this bulb over to this one as well so that's really all it is um uh, it's not really missing anything else um i'm gonna go ahead and just swap those bulbs real quick and then get this going and uh let me see if i'm forgetting anything else here oh and this bracket actually this is the bumper bracket that goes onto your bumper um I'm gonna have to take this one off as well and throw it on right here. As you can see, it mounts on right here. So let me get that on and remount the uh, headlight back into the car. And I'll hook everything up and then I'll show you guys how it looks like. Okay, so both sides is in now. Um, so what I had to do was actually, I wanted to get a cleaner install saw. These fenders actually f sit over my headlight here. Um, so, I mean, for me, what I did was I put some weather strippings just right along in that area right there. Just blocking the water and kept getting dirty. And I have one on the inside of the headlight there as well on, on the inside of the uh, fender. But hopefully that helps. I'll give it a shot it's just so it doesn't get so much dirt in there and kind of just sits there. Uh, being that the winter time here, we don't get to wash the car very often, so, or I don't at least, uh, just because it's too cold for me here. Um, and I just did the same thing on the other side here as well. Uh, but it looks way better than what it was before. Uh, it really brings out the front of my car. I like it way better. Alright, so that is pretty much the install. It's already the next day. Uh, I ended up getting everything done about 2 in the morning. I had to uh, figure out some of the wires and everything. And I uh, had to custom some uh, splash guards because I don't have uh, stock fenders. So kind of sucked for me. I just wanted to block it off so I don't get any rain or anything in there. Uh, but other than that, um, I think it looks really good. Uh, if I had to put a review on it, 10 out of 10, everything fit. Uh, no issues with that at all, actually. So... Yeah, so I'll catch you guys on the next install. Um, I have a couple things coming in. Um, I can't say what it is yet until I get to it. Uh, there's a couple bills I got to take care of and stuff like that. So, But other than that, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Then Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like, share, share, uh, like uh, subscribe, and share my videos. Uh, thank you, guys.